Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading for April. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Gemini, we're going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have at this time. So you do have to know this person or know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So we'll see what's going on in your situation. Please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. If it's not your reading, please don't make it, try to make it fit. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching. This also can be past, present, or future energy. So please just take it how it resonates for you. Um, you can check the description box below. Lots of stuff down there. Links to your playlist, love in general, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. All that is down below in the description box as well as the pin top comment. So feel free to check that out. All right, Gemini. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe during this time. Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you in love. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. See what comes out for you in love at this time, spirit, please. What do we have? If you don't resonate with this, totally fine. Did I just say that? I don't know. But anyway, let's see what we get. For Gemini Spirit, please. Thank you so much <clears throat> for Gemini. Okay, I feel that one. Let's see what we have. And we have Venus, so that is the planet of love. The planet of love. So we are talking about love here. So the planet of Venus does represent Taurus and Libra, I believe. So we are, are we in love, Gemini? with a Libra or a Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. It can be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's see. All right, so with this check here, the first thing I'm gonna do is get an opening energy, love energy between you and the person you're thinking about for this reading, for this general collective reading. For Gemini Spirit, please, what is the opening energy? between Gemini and their person, whoever they are thinking about for this reading spirit, please. Thank you so much for Gemini. Gemini in love at, oh, I knew, I knew a flyer was gonna come. Well, look at that. We have soulmates, swans here, mate for life. And we do have the Knight of Cups down here with the Jack of Hearts, somebody coming forward or making positive movement forward in love. 24 is 6. We could be talking about past life soulmates here. And we have the swans. So let's see what the swans have to say. I'm just going to read the little riddle that comes with each because they're kind of cute. So I like to read those. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Actually, this is called Heart. Number 24. The form of happiness and love is simply drawn in my shape. I am your feelings and emotions. I am your passions and devotions. Just make sure no bad cards are around to spoil this fondness and affection. Hmm. So let's not hope for that. But I do see past life soulmates, union, soulmate union, someone wanting to make that positive movement forward in love because we are talking about love here. All right. So let's see what's going on. So what I'm going to do, Gemini, is... Wow. <clears throat> not ready yet, so I'm not going to take that. I'm going to pull one for you and one for your person, how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. Gemini, I'm going to put you here, your person there. But if any time during this reading you feel like the energies are switched or they need to be reversed, please feel free to do that at any time. All right, Gemini. All right, so how is Gemini feeling about their person, who they're thinking about at this time for this reading and their connection spirit, please? At this time, Gemini, at this time. Okay, feeling that one. And how is Gemini's person feeling about them for this love reading at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. How is Gemini's person feeling about them? I'm feeling that one. All right. Let's see what we have for you, Gemini. We have the bridge. Are you bridging a gap between you and this person? And we have 38 there, which is 11 and 2, and that's unity. Coming into unity, bridging that gap. I'm going to read that little snippet from that one also. And your person, this has been coming out a lot in these readings, has the tower. But this tower, to me, uh, reminds me of like a golden palace 
where there's a lot of growth, abundance, um, prosperity. We do have the Six of Spades, so that's here going forward in, <clears throat> in a healing, positive direction, leaving the crap behind. This Knight of uh, Cups here, that could be um, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. So let's read what the bridge has to say for you, Gemini. Getting bridging the gap between you and somebody. 38. Bridges. Near or far, wide or narrow, steep or straight are some of my traits. But in whatever form, I am your connection <clears throat> to places, people, or points in time. I can span the spaces that separate you. I can shorten the distance that can bring you together. So that's what I felt. And your person here has the, that is called a tower, but you know, it doesn't look like a tower to me, but it has corporations, organizations, yeah, institutions and governments come under my influence. I am boundaries and restrictions, so be mindful of isolation. I describe your ambitions as well as your expectations. And let's not forget your higher education. So, But, you know, that does uh, mean it speaks of that, but to me it speaks of growth, abundance, prosperity. So <clears throat> it's like a very wealthy, like abundant energy. Because you're like bridging the gap and you almost see like the tower behind here almost looks like, but it's not, it's a mountain or something. But I feel like bridging the gap between the two of you and then it leads to this like golden palace, I feel, in soulmate union because we are in love here. And we have, and there's the abundance. I can't make this up. This is the fish. This is about abundance. This reminds me of Pisces, but doesn't have to be. But 34 7, divinely guided spiritual number. King of Pentacles here, being very stable, grounded, practical, smart, uh, security, lo long term energy. And the King of Pentacles can be Virgo and uh, doesn't have to be. But so let's see what. The fish have to say, and I know it is about abundance, but let's read you the little, little tiny <coughs> rhyme here. Fish, I bring plenty of abundance. I deal in commerce and sales. I advocate independence and promote self-reliance in trade. Water expansion and flow is my department. Be careful not to tip the scales between tipsy and loaded. You don't want to end up dizzy and bloated. <laughs> I just see a lot of growth and abundance and prosperity between the two of you and abundance once the gap has the bridge, you know, bridging the gap between soulmates here. And you may be the one Gemini to finally bridge the gap. I think this person already knows, you know, how healing this could be between the two of you, how together you could go into a very comfortable, peaceful place and they see all the growth and abundance that could be in this connection. And they're waiting for you to bridge that gap, I feel. And I think you know that you have to do this for the soulmate union here. Okay. All right. So let's clarify this energy for you, Gemini. Let's see what we get for Gemini spirit, please. Thank you so much for Gemini. Gemini. All right. Gemini. Let's see if I can shuffle this big deck. Why does Gemini have the bridge here, Spirit, please? Oh, okay. So we do have the Queen of Cups energy here, which can be Cancer, but doesn't have to be. But we got the Lovers in Reverse, and that is your energy. That is the Gemini energy. So... Love, yeah, that's the lovers. So, uh, I feel like, I mean, this is, lovers does talk about, says love, talk about soulmate love. And you do definitely feel that love, but I feel like, because you see these two pillars here, that you need to bridge this space, this bridge this gap between the two of you to have this soulmate union. But I definitely do feel like you do have love and emotions for this person. 
But to put that card in upright, you have to bridge the gap between the two of you first. All right, so why does your person have the, I'll call it the palace, though it's the tower, whatever you want to call it here. The chariot, yeah, they definitely want this to move forward. This is cancer. They want this to move forward successfully. It's about drive, ambition, balance, success, and victory. Positive movement forward. So they definitely want this positive movement forward with you into a more healing, balanced place where there's a lot of growth and abundance. But they're waiting for you to bridge that gap. All right, so let's get one more. One more for your person. Five of fire. So it's about conflict, competition. So somebody's conflicted here. They could see that you're conflicted because you do have the lovers in reverse. This is about making a conscious choice. It's about soulmate union. So they feel like, you know, they want this positive movement forward with you, but they know that, and they could be conflicted too if is this really going to happen because they see also that you're conflicted because that lovers is in reverse. So let's look here at the actual situation for you, Gemini. Wow, that is way too many. But we do have here, wow, we have the star and the moon. So, <clears throat> wow. The star can be Aquarius, the moon can be Cancer or Pisces. So the star is about divinely guided energy, which is dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism, healing, moon. Can be about secrets or not seeing the path clearly or feeling a little disillusioned. Can be about really deep feelings or needing to um, listen to your intuition. So, and this is on your side, Gemini. So I feel like, I feel like you do, you may be a little confused or have a little fear about this coming into union, bridging that gap. But, you know, you do have this wishes and dreams coming true. You do see them as a wish and dream come true. And, you know, need to have that faith, hope, and optimism. And maybe you do in the healing. You got 17, 18. Wow. So, but I think you're feeling a little confused or have fear. Not sure what to do here for some reason. So let's get more. The high priestess. Again, listening to intuition energy here. Pisces energy. So, this is all major. So, you both need to listen, or you both could be listening to your intuition, but you're keeping secret from one another about this um, soulmate union. Because, or it could, there just could be no communication right now between the two of you. I feel like they're waiting for you to bridge that gap. So, they're not communicating and you're not communicating, you're a little confused or have a little bit of fear, this, but I do see you do have love and emotions for them. What else here? Four of water. So yeah, not sure about the offer here. So that's falling under their energy, four of cups energy. <clears throat> so feeling, you know, where's the love offer? Is it coming in? Is it not coming in? Feeling unsure. Missed opportunity. Is this going to be a missed opportunity? It's coming under your person's energy. So they're really like waiting for it to come in, that love offer or something, and they're not sure if it's coming. Temptation. So we got the devil energy here. I'm getting, you know, the temptation doesn't have to be necessarily like really, really bad energy. It could be also fear. Anxiety, stress, worry, low self-esteem. It's almost, this is very similar to, I just did um, Aquarius's reading, and it's almost very similar. Like, you both want the same thing, but you both have um, fear of coming forward with an offer, I feel. I think you may have fear of coming forward with your emotions and they have fear that this offer may not come in or they also have fear of also coming forward with their offer or emotions. I think they're more sitting in the energy of they're fearing this offer may never come in 
because I feel like there's no communication between the two of you. But they definitely want this to move forward. I feel like you do too, but oh boy. So let's get some advice for this connection for you, Gemini. For you, Gemini. I feel like they're waiting for you to bridge the gap here. Six of Cups energy. And I said that this is definitely soulmate energy here. You could have known them a lifetime, four lifetimes. Could have had past lives together. Known them since childhood or just a long time. Or feeling like you've known them for a very long time. This is because it is a heavy soulmate energy. Also another six here with the Six of Earth. And this uh, devil over here is Capricorn. <clears throat> so we have two sixes here. Sixes to me were always healing balanced energy and we did have the six of swords i believe on one of these cards too so that's three sixes of and a six here so very healing balanced energy between the two of you wow that's your advice if you want healing and balance in this heavy heavy soulmate energy so let's get two more for your advice you gemini Strength. So Leo energy here. So needing strength, determination, courage, being brave, willpower, endurance. Very strong connection and bond here. Could have lasted through lifetimes. Usually has the infinity symbol. As I had said that with the Six of Cups. So definitely needing your, all your strength here. Someone needs strength here to come forward and get over their fear. Because the strength is the only thing I feel, and I think maybe the sun that overcomes the devil, for me anyway, which can be that fear. The hermit. Yeah, so Virgo energy here. So, wow, so we have two sixes, eight, nine. Um, so someone needs to really think about here what they truly truly want are they ready to give we have three keys here at the top somebody ready to give the key to their heart you need strength to do that to bring balance and reciprocity and healing in this soulmate heavy soulmate connection that's the advice so really think about this do you want this then <clears throat> You need to muster up your strength and bring this balance forward and bridge the gap here between two soulmates. All right, so let's get the possible outcome here for you, Gemini, in this love connection. Nine of air. So there's a stress, fairy wor fear, worry, and anxiety again. <clears throat> All right, so let's get two more of your possible outcome here for Gemini and this love connection spirit, please. Two more for the possible outcome for this connection for Gemini in their person of interest and in love. Seven of Earth. So this is good. It's in reverse. So the Seven of Pentacle energy upright talks about waiting investing assessing analyzing but waiting in your investments but this is no longer waiting so somebody even though there's stress fear worry and anxiety somebody finally is not going to wait any longer they've assessed and analyzed with their hermit energy here the pentacles are slow moving but they're stable they're sturdy they're grounded they're long term they are sincere one more two of earth so feeling a little out of balance or needing to balance this is needing to balance things out things are in balance and you're juggling things around trying to balance things out so to balance things out somebody is finally even though this fear here is going to come out of this stagnant energy i feel it makes some sort of i feel like an offer of some kind it's slow it's steady it's stable it's grounded but slow moving but you could trust it all right let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we do have the ten of cups this will lead to soulmate union of total love joy and abundance um fulfillment in every single way with the ten of cups happy home and family energy 
page of water. So here comes the messages of love coming in. So somebody finally communicating. And I felt that here with the love offer. Here with the page of cups. Seven of fire. Somebody's ready now to take action and uh, go after what they want and defend what they want here. World. So ready to start a new chapter here. Closing out old chapters to starting new chapters between two soulmates, bridging that gap between two worlds and two soulmates. And the world here is Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and I'm missing one. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius, I believe. Transformation here. So we do have the death here. So this is about ending of old ways and letting things be and then transforming and having a new beginning. Ten of Earth. So there you go. There's your long-term commitment. This is Capricorn energy. So here is long-term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles energy, growth, abundance. And I felt that with the palace and the abundance over here. Uh, family, legacy of a family dynamic through generations. And uh, plenty of growth and abundance. Prosperity between two soulmates for a lifetime. Wow. Here's divine intervention. Wow. Fortune's wheel. In the Queen of Air, Queen of Swords here is always divine energy to me most of the time, but it is swords. So this can be um, Libra, but it doesn't have to be. But truth, clarity, fortune's wheel, Sagittarius, things going in the better direction, fate, destiny, divine timing, everything getting better. And here's divine energy saying, yes, things are going to get better. Having that truth and clarity, open, honest, truthful communication, and also very fiery, determined, passionate go-getter with the Queen of Fire here. Can be Aries, doesn't have to be. So going after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition, and going after it here. It's a lot of energy here. <clears throat> I think, Gemini, you finally will get over your fear. Um, why you have this fear, I mean, I would have to do an extended reading. Could be anything. Only you know that. It could be past hurts from past relationships, um, childhood issues. It could be anything. Just fear in general of love for some reason. But I feel like, or if you feel like this is reversed, however it resonates for you, somebody's over going to overcome their fear, make an offer, and will no longer be in this waiting period and finally bridge the gap here between two soulmates and having this lifelong long-term commitment growth abundance between two soulmates for a lifetime and generations to come wow wow gemini all right so let's get some whispers of love for you gemini i do ask gemini if you're new you like my style how i read please feel free to like share subscribe comment Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. General, love, singles, messages from spirit, and a bonus reading where we take a little look of a little bit of everything. So if all your monthlies didn't really resonate, maybe something in the bonus will. So again, if you're interested in all, all that, subscribe, hit the bell, don't miss out. And if you do, thank you. All right, Gemini. Let's get some closing messages for Gemini. So we have be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. 40 here, 4. It's all about stability. So this will be a very stable, stable, especially with this golden palace here, to me, uh, energy. That also reminds me of the star, divinely guided energy, which we had here. Uh, faith, hope, optimism, which is coming true. Healing energy. Dreaming of the future. Dreams coming true. Between the two of you, finally, I feel, having that fulfillment in every single way between the two soulmates. All right, so let's take these two. So we, <laughs> we have here, honesty is essential, 38, which is 11, which is about being on the divinely guided spiritual right path. And then that would be two, which would be about unity. Honesty is essential to be a loving person is important that we speak truthfully and, a, and in a loving that manner. So that's always important between two people because we have here, I love you. These are very important words. 22, unity. So soulmate union here with two people that definitely, definitely love each other. will be expressing honestly how much they love each other. 
Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. You are limitless for, again, stability. Recognize the truth. You can do anything you choose to do. So, and we have the two swans there. I can't, wow, I can't make this up. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but we have the two swans right here. And then we have the two swans here. Wow. Definitely, definitely, this love will be limitless, I feel. The soulmate union, this love will be limitless. Wow. Very stable, grounded energy. Wow, Gemini. All right. So best of luck to you, Gemini. Send you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.